Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Some people have a problem with shoes when they start squeaking, but me personally, I don't really mind it. It kind of sounds funny. Listen. See? Right now, in the series, we've met all seven main characters, as well as Mrs. Puff, Larry, and Karen. But we still have one more major secondary character to meet, and that's Pearl, Mr. Krabs' daughter. Squeaky Boots is the episode where Spongebob buys boots off of Mr. Krabs which make an annoying squeaking sound which drives Mr. Krabs insane. Like Sandy's Rocket, this episode aired on September 17, 1999 and it introduces Mr. Krabs' whale daughter, Pearl. A whale being an offspring of a crab? That's new. Pearl doesn't appear as often as the main characters, but I would say she's a notable recurring character as she appears and gets focused every so often, but not as much attention as a main character like Squidward, Mr. Krabs, or even Sandy. Despite this episode introducing Pearl, she doesn't get a major spotlight in this episode like Mrs. Puff and Larry do in the episodes they're introduced in, but that's not too big an issue. We'll still be able to get a good look into Pearl's character during the scene she appears in, and there will be much more focus on her later in the show, even in this season. Before I get into this episode, here's a fun little tidbit about it. This was one of the very first episodes that the creator Steven Hillenburg had for the entire show. Looking right here on this website I'm showing, there's a sketch of Spongebob wearing the very boots that are the major focus of this episode, which was even in the original pitch bible for the series. Even though this didn't come out until almost halfway through the season, it's still cool to know that this episode was planned out so early on. This episode is slightly bogged down because the squeaking happens a lot here, but I haven't heard very many people say the squeaking flat out ruins the whole episode for them. So let's watch it and see how the episode fares. So the episode starts up and we see Mr. Krabs' house for the first time and it's an anchor. Inside the house, it's Pearl's birthday and Mr. Krabs is performing for Pearl and her friends, but nobody's impressed. So they move on to presents and when Mr. Krabs hands her the first present, Pearl hopes it was these new flipper slippers that all her friends were wearing. But when she opens them, she discovers that they were fishing boots instead. Fishing boots? They live underwater, so what kind of fishing occurs underwater? If fishing is a thing of a bikini bottom the same way it is here, would that be considered cannibalism? She starts to cry, and we hear how she's a ferocious crier. The next day at the Krusty Krab, Mr. Krabs wonders what he can do with the boots since he spent two whole dollars on them. What kind of finest fishing boots available are only two dollars? I don't even know if flip flops cost two dollars. Spongebob then comes in asking for his paycheck, and Mr. Krabs gets an idea. He shows Spongebob the boots and claims that they are his most prized possession. Spongebob thinks they're some kind of ordinary boots, but Mr. Krabs says they are fry cook boots that only the world's best fry cooks are allowed to wear as part of a tradition, and the boots were given to him by the most famous fry cook in the sea, who he doesn't say the name of. Spongebob wants the boots, but Mr. Krabs says they're too valuable. Spongebob bargains with Mr. Krabs by immediately giving him his paycheck and offering to do other things, which Mr. Krabs immediately agrees to. Spongebob shows off his new boots to Squidward, showing how he's now much more of a fry cook than he already was. Spongebob then proceeds to bounce up and down and then jumps all around the Krusty Krab, and Squidward complains about how loud the squeaking is. But Mr. Krabs is okay with it since he got more money. You know, Spongebob's normal shoes squeak, so why doesn't Squidward ever complain about that? Of course, the boots squeak much louder than his regular shoes do, but still. Later that night, Mr. Krabs is dreaming about counting money, but is awoken by a squeaking sound. He goes back to sleep and is awoken again, and sees the squeaking sound is his window. He closes it, but it opens again, leading to the highlight of the episode. Mr. Krabs' leg breaking in half and him falling out of the window. Then he comes back inside and proceeds to have a quarrel with the window until it closes. Man, this window is so annoying. I just can't get it to close. Mr. Krabs' other leg breaks in half and he gets twisted into his hammock and the window still squeaks open and closed. The next morning, Mr. Krabs heads to work and Squidward barges out saying he's going on a week-long vacation because he's fed up with Spongebob. And he's only going on vacation now? 
Mr. Krabs wonders what the problem with SpongeBob is because business was better than ever, but when he goes inside, he hears the squeaking of the boots and starts to realize the true problem. SpongeBob loves the boots so much he feels he's the world's greatest fry cook and wants to live up to the title. He tries to show off some tricks that he feels the world's greatest fry cook would do, but all the tricks come with the price of the boots making the annoying squeaking sound, especially when SpongeBob makes the boots squeak talk to take a customer's order. As SpongeBob performs more feasts, the squeaking persists and Mr. Krabs starts to snap. He runs to his office and tries his hardest to block out the squeaking, but the noise still permeates through, so he decides to get rid of the boots. Later that night, Spongebob says to Gary that he never wants to take the boots off because they changed his life. After he falls asleep, Mr. Krabs shows up and takes the boots off Spongebob's feet and hides them at the Krusty Krab. The next morning, Mr. Krabs is enjoying the peace and quiet at work. Spongebob comes in crying because he says he lost the boots. Mr. Krabs tries to cheer Spongebob up by offering oven mitts, but it doesn't work and Spongebob thought he wasn't ready for those boots after all. Mr. Krabs sees how sad Spongebob is and starts to feel guilty. Then a customer tries to place an order, but all Mr. Krabs can hear is squeaking sounds. He then starts to hear squeaking sounds from Spongebob, and that's all he can hear no matter where he looks, leading to pure nightmare fuel. Mr. Krabs snaps again and freaks out in front of everybody. Mr. Krabs admits he pulled a telltale heart and says he hid the boots under the floorboard. He then proceeds to lift the Krusty Krab to grab the boots because he couldn't stand the inferno squeaking up the hideous boots anymore. Okay, I'm impressed for two reasons. One, that's some incredible strength right there. And two, I need to start hiding things under my floorboard so my brother won't find them and ruin them. Mr. Krabs then dips the boots in the fryer, causing them to shrivel up and he eats them. After that, he tells Spongebob that the boots didn't matter and that Spongebob is a good fry cook even without them. He then gives Spongebob his overdue paycheck with a bonus, then he takes the bonus back and decides to go on vacation. Later on, he and Pearl head on a week long vacation away from Bikini Bottom and Pearl finally has the flipper slippers she wanted. Mr. Krabs starts to hiccup and the squeaking noise comes out as he hiccups. He drives on while hiccuping and squeaking and the episode ends. So that was Squeaky Boots, and overall, it's pretty good. The squeaking does go on and on throughout the episode, but I feel that it doesn't ruin the episode by any means. In my opinion, the only time it really drags on and on is when he's jumping around the Krusty Krab in front of Squidward. The squeaking is more predominant, and other than the background music during this scene, the squeaking is the main thing we hear and there's no dialogue until Squidward starts to complain about it. Also, the focus is mostly on Spongebob during this scene. During the second Krusty Krab scene with Spongebob performing the feats in front of Mr. Krabs, the squeaking is still heard, but there's actual focus on Mr. Krabs going insane, and we still hear more than the squeaking. Mr. Krabs is actually talking, and by listening closely, Spongebob is still heard repeating, and this, and this, and this, while Mr. Krabs is in his office. This episode is obviously a parody of The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe, since Mr. Krabs steals the boots and hides them under the floorboard. As a kid, I knew about Poe, but not this book in particular, and didn't know the parody this episode was doing, but as an adult, I appreciate the parody much more. Of course, Spongebob is no stranger to stuff like this. There are many episodes that parody other media, and I have respect for all episodes that do that, not just this one. Moving on from the parody, this episode is still funny. As I mentioned, my favorite part is Mr. Krabs getting into the scuffle with the window, especially when he falls out the window. I also like Spongebob performing the crazy tricks and Mr. Krabs going crazy and his I took the boots face. The nightmare fuel scene is also really well done and I don't have much more to say so I'll leave it at that. Even though Pearl only appeared in the beginning and ending, the general idea of her character was still shown off well. A teenage girl who loves fashion trends and can occasionally have problems with her dad but still loves him. Of course, this is pretty much a stereotypical teenage girl, but Pearl sticks out to me more and I think it's because of how she's a whale, which is definitely the focus of some awesome moments throughout the show. It's also good that Mr. Krabs still loves Pearl despite how his cheapness can get the better of him, even when it comes to his own daughter. Also, since Mr. Krabs is a crab and Pearl is a whale, this sparked countless rumors on how this is the case. Of course, Steven Hillenburg has stated that he never wanted the identity of Pearl's mom to be revealed, so we'll never know for sure. But that's a topic for another time. We now met all of our main characters, and the most important recurring characters in my opinion, and the dynamics between them in the future will be awesome. 
So, in conclusion, this is a good episode. The squeaking can be considered irritating, but it's not enough to completely squander the episode. Pearl is a good character that we meet here for the first time, and I love the parody scene. Kids may not get the parodies when they're young, but they will look back on things like this when they're older, which will make them respect it even more. And this applies to all episodes that do things like this, which is another reason why I feel this episode is still good. Squeaky Boots is a nice episode, and the squeaking doesn't really completely ruin the episode, and that's all I have to say about it. It's not a lot, but eh, that's all I got. And be prepared to hear something like that a lot from me. I do hope the nightmare feel from this episode won't affect my sleeping in the future. Later that night. What? What?